Hello students, welcome to the class. So in the previous class, we had discussed around 20 set of questions, 20 questions. Now moving to the next questions. Here we have 23rd question. The brown ring complex is formulated as FeH2O5NOSO4. Oxidation number of iron is. See, what is this brown ring test? Do you know what do you mean by brown ring test? So brown ring test means it is the test to detect what? What we do there, we take the organic compound. For nitrate ion, we do this brown ring set test. We take the salt, it is a qualitative test and we add concentrate freshly prepared ferrous sulfate. And then at the sides of the test tube, we add sulfur dioxide. A brown ring is formed between the two layers, we say. The complex of the brown ring is it is Fe H2O5NO and then here we have SO4. This is the complex. Okay. They have asked us the oxidation state of iron. So let us keep the oxidation state of iron as X. So when we are solving it out, so let us solve it. So X into one atom plus five water molecules. See, this is a complex ion students. It's not like you are taking NaCl, Na plus Cl minus. So when we have complex ion, this is a coordination compound we call. This entire box becomes a, comp a cation and this is anion. So these what molecules that are attached to this iron, iron becomes the central metal atom, central metal atom. And these are the molecules which are attached to iron. So there are five H2O molecules and NO molecules are attached. Five H2 and one NO molecule. So here, if you see five H2O molecules, wa water in case of coordination compounds when we're determining the oxidation number, water will have zero oxidation number. And NO is having plus one oxidation number. Sulfate, SO4 is having minus two. Okay, so substitute them. So there are, this it is zero into five molecules plus NO is plus one into one molecule plus sulfate is minus two into one molecule that is equal to zero. So X plus zero plus one minus two equal to zero. So it is one minus one goes that side X is equal to plus one. So what is the charge on oxidation number of iron? It is plus one. Understood? It is plus one. So it is a coordination compound and we have different set of rules. But here, since it is a simple one, they have included into this question. Next, in which of the following reactions, there is no change in the valency. There is no change in the valency. Okay, let us take all the reactions one by one. Okay, so let us write the reactions. The first reaction is what? The first reaction given is KCl. O3 gives KClO4 plus KCl. So here, okay, second option, SO2 plus H2S gives H2O plus S. I'm not balancing it. They have given already balanced. Barium oxide plus H2SO4 gives barium sulfate and plus H2O2. Okay, so they have asked where there is no change. And barium oxide plus O2 gives barium oxide. So we are going to find what, where there is no change in the valency. Yes, immediately looking at the option only we can say, but if you want to work out, so potassium plus one, this is my uh, three twos are six minus six, minus six plus one minus five. So it is plus five chlorine. Okay, then here plus one, uh, minus two, four twos are six, six plus five. And here it is plus one, minus one. It is a disproportionation reaction where chlorine is changing from plus six to plus five, plus six to minus one. Sulfur, minus two, it is plus four because this is minus two. Here it is plus one, therefore two, minus two. Here H2O, plus one, minus two, here it is zero. So there is change in the oxivalency. Barium, plus two. Here sulfur is how much? It is sulfur, sulfate. In sulfate, 2 minus 8 plus 6. So plus 2 plus 6 again. So there is no change in the oxidation state in case of option C. 
there is no change in the valency. If you look, all the atoms present in the same oxidation state in the reactants as well as products. Plus 2, minus 2, 0, plus 2, minus 2. You need not see for oxygen, see it for uh, atoms of uh, metals and non-metals. Okay. So option C is the right option because there is no change in the valency. So it is option C. Next question. The oxidation state of chromium in final product formed by reaction between Ki in acidified potassium dichromate solution is. First write the reaction, then you can explain the oxidation state. Okay. The reaction is. Cr2O7 minus 2 dichromate ion they have said plus iodide ion plus H plus acidified gives Cr plus 3 plus I2 plus H2O. This is what we get H2O. So what they have asked oxidation state of chromium. Do it out here 2x 17 uh, 14 7 to 14. So 12 is equal to 12 x is equal to 6 plus 6. So chromium here it is plus 6, here it is becoming plus 3. So from plus 6, it is changing to plus 3. So the question asked is what? They have asked for the same. So it is changing to plus 3. From plus 6, it is changing to plus 3. So option A is the correct option. Next question, in which of the following pairs there is greatest difference in the oxidation number of the underlined elements of the underlined elements. So let us consider all of them one by one. Oxidation number of nitrogen in NO2 and N2O4. What it will be? Minus 2. Minus 2 to the minus 4. So it becomes plus 4 here. Here 2x minus 2. Minus 8. So minus 8 by 2 is plus 4 again. It becomes plus 8. So it is plus 4. So it is how much? It is plus 4 in both the cases. So difference is what? Difference is 0. Second one. What is the second one? They have said oxidation. I will take it like this. Oxidation number of they have underlined phosphorus in P2O5 and P4O10. Let us see how much we get. So here P2O5, 2x minus 10 is equal to plus 10. It is plus 5. Correct? Here 4x, 10 to the 20, 20 by 4 is how much? Again plus 5. So in both the cases it is plus 5. So difference is again 0. Take the next option. Oxidation number of nitrogen in N2O and NO. How much it is? Work out. N2O, 2x is equal to 2, x is equal to 1, so plus 1. Then here, x equal to plus 2. So here it is plus 1 and here it is plus 2. Difference is what? Difference is 1. Difference is 1. Take the last option. Oxidation number of sulfur in SO2 and in SO3. So minus 2 minus 4. So it becomes plus 4. And here it is 3 to the 6 minus 6 plus 6. The difference is plus 2. Difference is plus 2. So which is the correct option? It is obviously the last one. Correct? So it is SO2 and SO3. The difference is maximum. Next question. A compound of xenon and fluorine is found to have 53.5% of xenon. And what is the oxidation number of xenon in this compound? Okay, they have said 53.5% of xenon is there. So relative number of atoms we will see. So xenon, it is 53.5% means out of 100%, it is made up of only two, xenon and fluorine. How much will be fluorine? 100 minus 53.53, it comes out to 46.5%. Correct. So let us first see relative number of atoms. Xenon, if you see, it is what is 53.5 divided by atomic mass, 731.2. It comes out to 0 0.4. And fluorine, we know that 46.5 divided by atomic mass is 19. It comes out to 2.4. 
So if you take simple ratio, Xe is to F, 0 0.4 is to 2.4, where do you get a whole number? Multiply it by 6 and see. So we will get ratio 1 is to 6. So what will be the molecular formula? It will be Xe F6, where till where you get whole number, you have to multiply into 1, into 2, into 3, into 4, into 5, into 6. So 6 fours are 20. And here 2.6 into 4, when you take the ratio, it comes out to 1.6. So Xe F6 is there. Xe F6 is the molecular formula. Fluorine is always minus 1. So minus 6. So xenon will have what? Plus 6 oxidation state. This is how we have to solve the question. Is that clear? Yes, you can have a note on it. Relative number of atoms I've calculated, then taken the ratio to get a whole number. Where do I get the whole number? Then it will be 1 is to 6. So Xef6 becomes the formula. Once you know the formula, you can calculate the oxidation state very easy. So it is plus 6. It is plus 6. Next question. Atomic number of an element is 22. The highest oxidation state exhibited by it in its compound. If the element's atomic number is 22. So 22 is the atomic number. Write the configuration. 1s2. The element is actually titanium. 2s2 belongs to D block elements. 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d2, if I'm not wrong. 10, 20, 22. Correct? So, electronic configuration is this. The energy levels 3d and 4s is very close. Yes, 3d and 4s are very close. n minus 1 and n. So, since they are very close, total this will be the valence electrons. So they will show both the oxidation state almost. Therefore, the maximum oxidation state shown by titanium is not just plus two, it is plus four. It is plus four. So which is the correct option? The correct option is plus four, plus four option D. Next, the reaction in which hydrogen peroxide acts as reducing agent. So reducing agent means what? Reducing agent means there must be increase in the oxidation state. Correct. So here only we will see PBS lead sulfide plus 2 minus 2 H2O2 plus 2 minus 2. It's still the same. Then 2Ki plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1, 0. So it is not there. FeSO4 plus H2SO4. It is a salt uh, formation reaction. Look at option D, Ag2O. Oxidation state of this is what? Uh, here it is minus 2. So 2x is equal to 2 by 2. So it is plus 1 here. Here it is 0. So there is decrease in the oxidation number. Therefore, H2O2 acts as. Acts as. So there is gain in the electrons. So when there is gain in the electrons, it will be what? H2O2 will act as reducing agent. It is providing electrons. Therefore, there will be gain in the electrons. Here, it is not such case. So, option D is the correct option. It is the correct option. Of the following reactions, only one is the redox reaction. Which is the redox reaction? Calcium hydroxide plus 2 HCl. Look at the reaction. It is what? It is acid-base reaction. Calcium plus 2, OH minus 1. H plus minus 1. Calcium again plus 2 minus 1. See, there is no change in the oxidation numbers. Next, if you see barium chloride plus magnesium sulfate, yes, plus 2 minus 1, plus 2 minus 2, plus 2 minus 2, plus 2 minus 1. There is no change again. If you see option C, uh, okay, let us work it out and see S2O7 minus 2. So it is 2x minus 14. Here it becomes 12. 12 by 2 is 6. So it is plus 6. Okay, it is becoming here SO4 minus 2. So, SO4 minus 2 means minus 2, 4 to the 8, 8 minus 2 is 6, it is still plus 6 only. So, there is no change, there is no change. Here also H plus, here also H plus, oxygen minus 2 minus 2. Last reaction, let us see, I will write it here. So, it might be last reaction only if till first uh, three reactions are not there. So, we will verify. Cu2S plus FeO gives Cu plus Fe plus SO2. Cu here is plus 2. So oxidation state of Cu here, in this case, it is plus 1. Sulfur, it is minus 2. 
iron okay so here cu is becoming zero here also it is becoming zero minus two means here it is iron plus two sulfur here plus four so if you see in this reaction it is a redox reaction that is oxidation and reduction are taking place simultaneously oxidation number of cu is changing from plus one to zero it is what reduction it is reduction whereas oxidation number of sulfur is changing from minus 2 to plus 4 it is changing from minus 2 to plus 4 therefore it is what it is oxidation minus 1 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 so it is oxidation so option d it is an example for what it is an example for redox reaction yes next question arrange the following in the increasing in the order of their decreasing electrode potentials magnesium potassium barium calcium so arrange the following in the in order of their decreasing electrode potentials magnesium potassium barium and calcium are being given okay see actually magnesium is having highest electrode potential then comes calcium then comes barium then comes potassium uh, potassium i'll tell you why yes so if you see here the electrode potential order is magnesium calcium barium and potassium so it can be explained on the basis of standard reduction potentials on the basis of standard reduction potentials so e not standard reduction potential of a potassium forming k plus ion versus k we write it like this you will understand it when we discuss the topic in second puc okay it is minus 2.925 minus 2.925 e naught for ba plus 2 to ba it is minus 2.90 e naught for ca plus 2 to ca it is minus 2.87 whereas e naught for mg plus 2 to mg it is minus 2.37 so what this standard reduction potential says highly negative value of e naught reduction so standard reduction potential if it is highly negative highly negative means yes if it is very strong it means it will show least electrode potential so where it is least electrode potential it is for magnesium then comes what then comes 2.87 that is calcium then comes barium and then comes potassium therefore this is the correct order this is the correct order so which is the correct option it is option d it is option d okay which of the following statements are correct concerning redox properties a metal m for which electrode potential for half reaction half life reaction m n plus plus n electrons gives m is very negative will be good reducing agent the oxidizing power of halogens decreases from chlorine to iodine the reducing power of hydrogen halides increases from hydrogen chloride to hydrogen iodide so let us see the prop points then we will come to some conclusion so if the reaction given is m n plus plus n electrons it is forming m okay for this reaction high negative high negative value of e naught means what it indicates lower reduction potential it indicates lower reduction potential that means what m will be good reducing agent it will be good reducing agent so lower the reduction potential better the reducing agent it will be good reducing agent okay so i can say stronger reducing agent stronger reducing agent please do remember all these points will be what it will be easy to oxidize easy to oxidize so wrong stronger reducing agent will be easy to oxidize which in turn means what it will have higher oxidation potential oxidation potential and which in turn means what it will have lower reduction potential lower reduction potential is that clear so here if you see all these points are very important if we are saying some compound as a stronger reducing agent it means it will be easy to oxidize it will oxidize the compound very easily because reducing agents get themselves oxidized 
that means they will have higher oxidation potential or they will have lower reduction potential so which is next point second point what they have said they have said about elements so about elements what do we understand fluorine chlorine bromine iodine yes reduction potentials in volts if you measure it is plus 2.2.87 2 for fluor uh, i'm sorry here i will write it as electrode potential for fluorine i have taken so e not in volts if you see reduction potential reduction potential for fluorine it is plus 2.87 for chlorine it is plus 1.36 for bromine it is plus 1.06 and for iodine it is plus 0.54 yes so it is is it not as reduction potential decreases just now we have seen as reduction potential decreases from fluorine to iodine what increases oxidizing nature oxidizing nature it also decreases from fluorine to iodine so oxidizing nature decreases from fluorine to iodine this is second point third point is they have said from hf to hi hf to hi see as you move from fluorine to iodine the size of the halide ions increase fluoride ion chloride ion bromide ion iodide ion down the group it increases so since the size bigger ion if you see bigger ion can lose electron can lose electron easily therefore hence i can say reducing nature reducing nature increases from hf to hi it increases from hf to hi so all the given options what they are they are all correct properties concerning to redox properties correct concerning to redox properties so which is the correct option it is 1 2 and 3 all three are correct all three are correct next if equal volumes of reactants are used then number of moles of kmno4 mole per liter used in acidic medium required to completely oxidize 0.5 moles of feso3 write the reaction try to understand okay so both fe and sulfur if you see both fe and sulfur they can be oxidized to fe3 so fe here it is in plus 2 state in the given question and sulfur in so3 minus 2 it is in 4 state so i can write it like this also albert stock method or you write it here plus 2 and it is plus 4 in where so3 minus 2 they can be oxidized to what they can be oxidized to fe plus 3 and so4 minus 2 so4 minus 2 so it becomes what so4 minus 2 means uh eight it becomes plus six sulfur becomes from plus four to plus six so write the reaction mno4 minus plus balancing the equation i will write directly we get eight h plus gives mn plus two plus four h2o yes so here it is since from plus two it is becoming plus three and from plus 4 it is becoming plus 6 here there is one electron difference here there are two electrons difference therefore i can say 3 by 5 into 0.5 that will be equal to 0.3 moles per liter okay moles per liter therefore i have to multiply this equation also by 3 by 5 now fe plus 2 is becoming what fe plus 3 by losing one electron and so4 so3 minus 2 is becoming so4 minus 2 by losing two electrons yes so this write the entire reaction 3 by 5 mno4 minus plus 24 by 5 h plus plus fe plus 2 plus so3 minus 2 gives what all reactants one side product Mn plus two, Mn plus two, three by two, Mn plus two, plus uh, here there is Fe, so here it becomes twelve by five H two O, four H two O into three by five, twelve by five H two O plus Fe plus three plus SO four minus two. Yes, 
So this becomes the entire reaction. So what they have asked, look at the options. So how many moles are required? It is 0 0.3 moles are required. 0 0.3 moles are required. Is that right? Okay. Reduction potential. If the rod of a metal X is put in a metal ion solution, which is blue in color, solution turns colorless. The metal rod and the solution respectively are. So they have asked. See here, if you want to answer, reduction potential, or you can speak it on base of uh, reactivity series of a Cu plus 2. 2 means plus 2. It is greater than that of Zn plus 2 and even aluminum, Cl plus 3. Thus, can be easily replaced by these ions. Moreover, if you take solution of copper, it is blue in color. Solution of copper is blue in color. Therefore, zinc and Cu, color, it becomes colorless. Nickel, no, because it cannot replace. Aluminum and Cu, so both A and C, yes, option D is correct. Both A and C are correct. Yes, it is based on reactivity series. It is based on reactivity series. In the reaction between SO2 and O3, the equivalent weight of sulfur in the product is, what product you get? SO3, SO2 and O3, the product what you get is SO3. Yes, so balance the reaction. I will write it 3 here and I will write it 3 here. 3 is a 9, 3 to the 6 plus 3 is 9. Okay. So oxidation state of sulfur is changing how? Here it is minus 4. That means here it is plus 4. Here 6 plus 6. So oxidation state of sulfur is changing from plus 4 to plus 6. That means loss of 2 electrons. So there is loss of 2 electrons. So calculate the equivalent weight. Equivalent weight will be equal to molecular weight of sulfur divided by 2 electrons. Number of electrons lost or gained. So, molecular weight by 2. So, how much it is? It is half the molecular weight. So, 1 by 2, it is half the molecular weight. Is that clear? Yes? Okay. Next question. When KMnO4 reacts with acidified FeSO4, what will happen? Write the reaction. KMnO4, KMnO4 plus H2SO4 gives what? It gives K2SO4 plus MnSO4 plus H2O plus O2. Yes. And FeSO4. FeSO4 plus H2SO4 plus oxygen. So here it is plus oxygen. Gives what nascent oxygens? Fe2SO4 thrice plus H2O. Okay. So it gives like this. So what is happening to the oxidation state? If you look here, in this case, you can calculate and see Mn oxidation state is plus 7 and here it is becoming plus 2. Whereas iron here it is plus 2 and here it is becoming plus 3. So I can say oxidation state of Mn changes from plus 7 to plus 2. That means gain of electrons. What it is? Reduction. Gain of electrons means what? It is reduction. Oxidation state of Fe changes from plus 2 to plus 3. What it is? Loss of electrons. It means oxidation. Loss of electrons means oxidation. Correct? So which is the correct option? So what is happening? They have asked what happens to the oxidation state. So which is the correct option? It is FeSO4 is oxidized. KMnO4 is reduced. FeSO4 is oxidized while KMnO4 is reduced. Next question. Consider the following reaction. The values of X, Y and Z in the reaction respectively are. See, after balancing the reaction, balance it. We have done this question many times. So balance this reaction. You will get, I'll write here below balanced reaction or I'll write it here. You will get 2MnO4 minus, you can check it out, plus 5C2O4 minus 2 plus 16H plus, we have done this question many times, gives 2Mn plus 2 plus 10, 2 into y, 10CO2 plus 8H2O, you will get this. 
8 h2 o yes this is 5 you will get this so what is the value of x it is 2 what is the value of y it is 5 what is the value of z it is 16 so which is the correct option it is option c which is the correct option is that right you can balance it out and see you will get this only when chlorine gas reacts with hot and concentrated sodium hydroxide solution the oxidation number of chlorine changes to write the reaction chlorine gas reacts with hot and concentrated NaOH which is taken in excess yes and it is hot and concentrated okay concentrated means we have taken in excess that's it it will give me NaCl plus NaClO3 sodium chlorate plus H2O okay so if I want to balance it I will balance here ClO3 therefore here I will balance NaOH so I will write here 3 3 to the 6 6 means here I will write 5 so 5 plus 1 is 6 so Na there are 6 therefore 6 here and 3 H2O so this is balanced what happens to the oxidation state of chlorine here it is 0 here it is minus 1 plus 1 minus 6 minus 5 plus 5 so chlorine it is changing from 0 to minus 1 in one compound and it is changing from 0 to plus 5 in another compound here it is reduction here it is oxidation from 0 to minus 1 and 0 to plus 5 so option b is the correct option is that right option b is the correct option it is an example for water it is an example for disproportionation reaction it is example for disproportionation reaction is that right <laughs> disproportionation reaction next oxidation state for nitrogen is incorrectly given for the compound oxidation state so which where there is incorrectly given n x so plus 2 minus 2 cancels minus 1 so it is plus 1 here okay then next option where it is incorrectly given they have said n2 h5 so4 n2 h5 ion i'll show you it is n bond n here there are two hydrogens so it is n2 h5 so if you see here the oxidation state here it is in this case it is minus 2 in this case it is minus 1 first option if you see here nitrogen it is plus 3 okay then here NH2OH if you see it is the structure of NH2OH is N two hydrogens are attached here OH so here it is minus 1 then magnesium nitride here it is minus 3 so this is correct this is also correct where it is wrong it is wrong in option a it is wrong in option a is that right next standard electrode potentials of redox couples is given a plus 2 and a b plus 2 b c plus 2 c d plus 2 d they are given respectively which of these is best oxidizing agent see redox couple with maximum reduction potential with maximum reduction potential will be best oxidizing agent and with minimum reduction potential it will be best reducing agent remember it so maximum reduction potential best oxidizing agent minimum reduction potential best reducing agent so they have given standard electrode potentials so here 0 0.3 0 minus 0 0.5 minus 0 0.75 and 0 0.9 so which is the correct option it is these two therefore correct option is what it is option c it is option c next mno4 minus 2 one mole in neutral aqueous medium disproportionates to okay try to write the reaction disproportionation they have said so the question is mno4 minus 2 mno4 minus 2 plus H2O gives MnO2 plus 2MnO4 minus plus OH minus. So for balancing, I will write here 3 and here 4. Or this can be written as MnO4 minus 2 plus 
divide all the terms by three. Yes. So one, it is here, it is two. Okay. So two by three H2O gives one by three MnO2 plus two by three MnO4 minus plus four by three OH minus. Correct. Since our options have these uh, type of uh, 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 options, since our question has these types of options, I will take it in this form divided by three. So which comes out to be the correct option? Here, the correct option will be what? It is two by three moles of MnO4 minus and one by three moles of MnO2. Yes, option A itself is the correct option. Option A is the correct option. Is that right? Okay, next question. In the standardization of Na2S2O3 using K2Cr2O7, yes, by iodometry, the equivalent weight of K2Cr2O7 is. See, in iodometry, when you use K2Cr2O7, it liberates iodine gas, iodometry. It liberates iodine gas from iodides, that is Nai you take or Ki you take, which is titrated with Na2S2O3. Okay, so if you want to represent this reaction, I will write it here. You can see K2Cr2O7 in iodometry I minus H plus. What we get is we get Cr plus 3 plus I2. Yes, Cr plus 3 plus I2. So here one mole of potassium dichromate accepts how many moles of electrons? So 2 here I will write. So 2 into 3, 6 moles of electrons. Therefore, calculate the equivalent weight. Equivalent weight will be molecular weight upon 6. Molecular weight upon 6. So, balancing. Cr2 is there. So, I will write 2 here. Therefore, which is the correct option? Molecular weight upon 6. So, option B is the correct option. Right? Next. The species that undergoes disproportionation in alkaline medium. Alkaline, right? All the reactions. I will take it here better. All the compounds you write in alkaline medium reaction and you will come to the conclusion. Cl2 plus, let us take NaOH alkaline, gives NaCl plus NaClO plus H2O. First option. Second one, they have given MnO4 minus 2. MnO4 minus 2 plus H2O gives MnO4 minus plus MnO2 plus OH minus. Third option, NO2 plus H2O gives HNO3 plus HNO2. Correct? See, chlorine is 0. Here it is minus 1. Here plus 1 minus 2 minus plus 1. Okay? Then here, MN minus 8 equal to 2. So minus 2, it is plus 6. Here, minus 8 equal minus plus 7. Correct. And here minus 4 plus 4. So chlorine is becoming minus 1 from 0 to minus 1 plus 1 from 0 to minus 1. Both reduction and oxidation. Mn from 6 to plus 7 from 6 to plus 4. That means here it is loss of electrons. Here it is gain of electrons. Both reduction and oxidation. Third option, NO2, 2 to the 4, minus 4 becomes plus 4. Here, HNO3, uh, 3 to the 6, minus 6 plus 1 is 5, minus 5, it becomes plus 5. HNO2, minus 2 to the 4, it becomes plus 3. So, plus 4 is becoming plus 5, loss of electrons. Plus 4 is becoming plus 3, gain of electrons. So, all of them are showing a disproportionation reaction. All of them are showing disproportionation reaction. So, all the options are correct. Okay, one mole of N2H4 loses 10 moles of electrons to form a new compound. Why? Assuming that all nitrogen atoms appear in the new compound, what is the state of nitrogen in Y? There is no change in the oxidation state of hydrogen. Okay, so good question. They have said N2H4 is going to lose how many? 10 electrons. Yes, then it is forming as compound say Y. Assuming the state of hydrogen to be same, so it is plus 4 x. So answer comes out to minus 4 here. And here 
what happens is by losing 10 electrons it will form n2 hydrogens come out it will form n2 what is the state n2 plus 6 it will form so from plus 4 it is forming plus 6 yes so correct is what sorry minus 4 plus 6 so the assuming all nitrogens appear in the compound what is the oxidation state of nitrogen so six there are two atoms one nitrogen atom they have said so it is plus three so oxidation state changes from minus two to plus three it changes to plus three phosphorus sulfur and chlorine undergo disproportionation in the dash a medium so they undergo disproportionation a which medium alkaline medium they undergo disproportionation reaction in alkaline medium okay Next question, the most powerful oxidizing agent from the following. The most powerful oxidizing agent. So which is the most powerful oxidizing agent? H3PO3, HPO3, H3PO4 and H2SO4. Where where's, uh, the atom boron, phosphorus, phosphorus, sulfur, where there is highest oxidation state, that will be the highest oxidizing agent. You can calculate out plus 3 minus 6 plus 3. Here plus 1 minus 6 plus 5. Plus 3 minus 8 plus 4. So plus 5. Uh, plus 2 minus 8 plus 6. So here it is highest. Therefore, this is best oxidizing, powerful oxidizing agent. If the charge on the atom is more, then it will be strong oxidizing agent. When sulfur dioxide is passed through acidified solution of potassium dichromate, SO2, acidified means H2SO4 plus K2Cr2O7, it forms what? It forms K2SO4 plus Cr2SO4 thrice plus SO3 plus H2O. Oxidation state of chromium changes to plus 2, 7 to the 14. So 12, it is plus 6 here. Here it is plus 3. Here only we can see, looking at the formula only. So it is plus 3. From plus 6, it is changing to plus 3. So correct option is option C. Yes, write the reaction, you will get to know the answer. Standard reduction potentials are given. Strongest oxidizing and reducing agent. See, higher the value of reduction potential, higher will be the oxidizing power. Whereas lower the value of reduction potential, higher will be the reducing power. So with this, so what I said, higher the value of reduction potential, higher will be oxidizing power. So where reduction potential is high, that is oxidi higher oxidizing power. We'll have that higher oxidizing power. So where oxidation potential is more, 2.85. So fluorine, best oxidizing agent. Lower the reduction potential, higher will be the reducing power. So where reduction potential is lower, 1.06 iodine, it is 0 0.53, yes. So iodine is what? Best reducing agent, I minus. Understood. So this is best reducing agent. Okay. Next. A gas is bubbled through a solution containing mixture 1 MY minus and 1 MZ minus at 25 degrees Celsius. Okay, at 25 degrees Celsius. If reduction potential is Z is greater than Y is greater than X, Z. See, more the reduction potential, more will be oxidizing power. So, which will oxidize? Y will oxidize X and not Z. So, it will oxidize X and not Z. Y will oxidize Z and not X, wrong. Y will oxidize both, wrong. So, option A is the correct option, correct? Option A is the correct option. Next, the violent reaction between sodium and water is an example of sodium Na plus H2O gives NaOH plus H2. So you can see here sodium is 0, plus 1, minus, minus 2. Here it is plus 1, minus 2, plus 1. Here it is 0. So what is happening to the oxidation states? Sodium oxidation state is 0 to plus 1. Whereas H2O, if you see H2O is reduced to H2. 
that is hydrogen from plus one it is becoming zero so this is oxidized this is reduced so it is an example for what it is an example for redox reaction redox reaction the equivalent weight of more salt feso4 nh4 twice so4 6h2o is more salt the equivalent weight is equal to what see feso4 is when this reaction occurs feso4 will be oxidized to fe2so4 thrice so change in oxidation state is by 1 change in oxidation state is by 1 so change in oxidation number is 1 okay next if you see nh4 so equivalent weight they have asked for equivalent weight of more salt therefore when there is change in oxidation state by 1 therefore we can say equivalent weight of more salt will be what molecular weight upon m 1 so it will be its molecular weight only it will be its molecular weight yes next question the set of coefficients the set of numerical coefficients that balance the equation k2crO4 the equation is so let us see so k2crO4 plus hcl gives k2cr2o7 plus kcl plus h2o so it is h2o you can balance this reaction and see so you will get 2h2o and everything remains the same 2kcl then here it is 2 okay so what is the coefficient it is 2 2 1 2 1 2 2 1 2 1 so option d is the correct option d is the correct option next thiosulfate reacts differently with iodine and bromine the reactions are given below which of the following statements justify dual behavior of thiosulfate so you can see here it is given it is forming so4o6 minus 2 here it is forming so4 minus 2 so what is the correct justification for the behavior of thiosulfate bromine is stronger oxidant than iodine yes bromine is stronger oxidant than iodine therefore we are getting here s4o6 minus 2 bromine is no it is wrong thiosulfate undergoes oxidation by bromine and reduction no in both the cases it is a, a reduction only so which is the correct option it is option b bromine is a stronger oxidant than iodine so option b uh, a is the correct option bromine is stronger oxidant than bromine uh, iodine okay next question a chemical that undergoes self oxidation and self reduction in the same reaction in the same reaction do you remember do you know this reaction see this reaction is there in organic chemistry it is called canizaro's reaction in canizaro's reaction it is called canizaro's reaction okay in canizaro's reaction formaldehyde hcho is called formaldehyde formaldehyde it will react with 50% solution of naoh in presence of 50% solution of naoh it will undergo self reduction and self oxidation so the reduced product is ch3oh and oxidized product is hco any yes so this is nothing but canizaro's reaction which occurs only in formaldehyde not benzyl alcohol or acetone acetic acid okay next question the oxidation number of an element in a compound is evaluated on the basis of certain rules which of the following rules is not correct oxidation number of hydrogen is always plus 1 no if it is with a non metal and hydrogen its oxidation state is always plus 1 but if it is metal hydride its oxidation state is always minus 1 the algebraic sum of all oxidation numbers in a compound is zero correct thus element of in a free or uncombined state bears oxidation number zero correct in all its compounds oxidation of yes 
you take any compound any compound oxidation number of fluorine is always minus 1 why because fluorine being the most electronegative atom fluorine being the most electronegative atom next question zinc reacts zinc gives h2 gas with h2so4 so it gives h2 gas with h2so4 and hcl but not with hno3 why see this is a typical reaction of a nitric acid with metals yeah do you know why because zinc it gives h2 gas with h2so4 or or hcl but it does not give it with hno3 the reason is you take zinc plus h2so4 you will get zinc sulfate plus h2 gas you take zinc plus hcl you will get salt zncl2 plus h2 gas okay yes but with nitric acid nitric acid oxidizes and acts as an oxidizing agent so zinc plus hno3 yes it will give me zno3 twice plus nascent hydrogens okay what happens here is hno3 reacts with eight hydrogens to give nh3 plus h2o okay this nh3 reacts with another hno3 to form nh4 no3 nh4 no3 therefore zn reacts with hno3 to form zn no3 twice plus nh4 no3 plus h2o plus h2o plus h2o so this is the reaction so zn is on the top position of hydrogen in the electrochemical series that is reactivity series so zn displaces hydrogen it displaces hydrogen from dilute h2so4 therefore hydrogen gas is evolved and from hcl so h2 but when you see for hno3 it cannot displace it it cannot displace it so which is the correct option zn acts as oxidizing agent when it reacts with hno3 hno3 is weak acid than h2so4 no that is not wrong zn is above hydrogen so option c is the correct option next question which of the following elements does not show disproportionation tendency disproportionation chlorine bromine fluorine and iodine fluorine does not show disproportionation tendency because in any of its compounds fluorine will always have what it will have minus 1 only the charge therefore it cannot show disproportionation reaction rest all differs okay next the oxidation number of sulfur in s8 s2f2 and h2s do it so they have given yes 8 yes 2f2 and h2s so s8 is elemental form so the atom is in its elemental state therefore the oxidation state is zero here x into 2 plus minus 1 into 2 is equal to 0 minus 2 becomes plus 2 so x is equal to 2 by 2 that is equal to 1 so here sulfur it is plus 1 h2s plus 1 into 2 plus x so it is minus 2 so sulfur is what minus 2 so it is in s8 0 plus 1 and minus 2 so 0 plus 1 minus 2 which is the correct option 0 plus 1 minus 2 option a is the correct option option a is the correct option next question stronger oxidizing agent stronger oxidizing agent is more what okay so what it is more the reduction potential standard reduction potential more is the tendency to get itself reduced and more is the oxidizing power therefore stronger is oxidizing agent means what 
standard reduction potential of that species. It is nothing but standard reduction potential of that species. Okay. Next, which of the following statements is or are correct for the given reaction? HgCl2 plus SnCl2, Hg2Cl2 plus SnCl4. So if you see here, which is the correct statement? Mercury chloride is reduced to h 2 chgcl 2 I'm sorry. Stannous chloride is oxidized. Write the oxidation states, you'll get to know. HgCl2 minus 1. So minus 1 minus, uh, it is minus 2 plus 2. Here Hg becomes minus 1. So minus 2, it is plus 1. So from Hg, from plus 2, it has become plus 1. Gain in electrons. Correct? Reduction. So it is oxidized. It is not reduced. SnCl2 minus 1, minus 2, plus 2, minus 1, plus 4. So it is becoming from plus 2, it is becoming plus 4. That means again it is oxidized, not plus 2 is becoming plus 4. Oxidation, that means it is reduced. So mercury chloride is oxidized, stannous chloride is reduced. HgCl2 is oxidized to H. Yes, this is the correct statement. So only three is the correct statement. It is example for redox reaction. No, it is not example for redox reaction because everything here, there is no reduction oxidation. Only there is only oxidation. Yes. Next question. The standard reduction potential, again, it is given strongest. What is the correct answer? More negative reduction potential, more is the tendency to lose electrons. So the reducing power increases as standard reduction potential becomes more and more negative. So where it is more and more negative, it is minus 3.05. It is for lithium. Therefore, lithium is the correct option. So remember, reducing power increases as a standard reduction potential becomes more and more negative. For lithium, it is minus 3.5. Therefore, lithium is, in fact, lithium is the strongest reducing agent. In a disproportionation reaction, HClO3, HClO4 plus Cl2 plus O2 plus H2O, equivalent mass of oxidizing agent. So ClO3 minus can I write HClO4 instead of write Cl2. So here it is minus 2 minus 3 to the 6 plus 5 it is. Here it is. So it is plus 5. So here it is minus 8 plus 7 plus 7. Here it is 0. So it is changing from plus 5 to plus 7. It is oxidation and it is changing from plus 5 to 0. So this should be considered reducing a reduction and therefore it is oxidizing agent. Correct? So here it is x minus 6 equal to minus 1 and here it is 0. So it is plus 5 here plus 5. So do it out. Equivalent mass is what? Equivalent mass is equal to molecular mass upon oxidation number or number of electrons lost or gained. So oxidation number I will write. Equivalent mass of chlorine, uh, chlorate ion 84.45 divided by oxidation number is 5. Solve it out, you will get the answer 16.89. So correct option is option A. So you have to first identify which is oxidizing and which is reducing. Yes, next. Which of the following behave as both oxidizing and reducing agents? H2SO4 oxidizing, H2O neither oxidizing nor reducing, HNO3 oxidizing. If you see SO2, oxidation number of sulfur can increase and decrease. Hence can behave as both oxidizing agent and reducing agent because oxidation state of sulfur varies from minus 2 to plus 6. It varies from minus 2 to plus 6. Okay. Which of the following statements are correct? Oxidation state of carbon in C3H4 is minus 4 by 3. Ox electrons are never shared in fraction, which is correct. Both the options are correct. Because if you see here, plus 4 and 3. So four, minus 4 by 3, it is correct. Electrons are never shared in fraction. Yes, they are never shared in fraction. Half of the electron can I take? No. So it is option 1 and option 2. Both are correct. Last question, in the reaction shown below, oxidation state of carbon in the reactant and products are 1 and 2 respectively. Is the given reaction, is the given reaction a redox reaction? 
Redox reaction means what? There should be gain of electrons and there should be loss of electrons. That means there should be change in the oxidation number. So given reaction, if you see, it is base plus salt, base plus acid giving me salt, water, and carbon dioxide. It is a decomposition reaction or actually, but not a redox reaction. It is not a redox reaction. Yes. So one and two, what is the oxidation state? Reactant and product. So reaction involves no change in the oxidation state of reactant or product. So the correct option here is in one, the reactant, the oxidation state is four. And in two also it is four. So there is no change. Therefore, it is not a redox reaction. Option C is the correct option. Option C is the correct option. Is that right? Therefore, this completes the multiple choice questions on redox reactions. Hope you have practiced, you have understood, got clear with all the questions. Please practice them. In the next video, we'll go to the next topic. Thank you.